Once you get your ballot, there are several things that happen. Uh, one, the law says that you, the voter, should be voting your ballot. And so you should be the person marking your ballot. Now, when you go to the polls or early voting, you can have assistance in voting. And the statute recognizes that you can have assistance at home by somebody helping you, but you should mark your ballot. So, so it shouldn't be like, well, Ms. Jones, when you get your FC ballot, give me a call, and I'll come by, and I can, I can fill it out for you. So right, right. So at no point should you let somebody else mark your ballot for you or give somebody your ballot to mark it and turn it in for you. Okay? So that the first thing is you, can, you should mark your own ballot and then send it back in. Uh, and we'll talk about sending it back in a minute, but you can have assistance in marking uh, your ballot. Just like a voter at the polling place, if you make a mistake on your ballot, uh, particularly City of Orlando elections, we've got one district that has a lot of candidates, and if you accidentally mark the wrong one, you can get a new ballot by contacting us, and we'll either remail or you can bring it in and exchange it for another one. So just because you messed up on it does not mean you lost your vote. Uh, but you need to do it in a timely fashion to make sure that it's all done before 7 o'clock election night. The other thing that we caution is that you should not just give your ballot to anybody who comes to your door and says, I'm here to pick it up. You know, if you have a trusted person you want to give it to, to have them return it, that's fine. But the key thing is we've now added where we're paying the postage on the return. So one of the excuses that we used to hear was, I don't have a stamp, I can't get to the post office. That's all gone now because you can give your ballot directly to your mailman when they come by your house mm -hmm. and they can take it because it's already, the postage is being paid for by the city or for the county uh, when we do that election. Uh, so from that standpoint, just don't give your ballot to anybody. Now, the law does talk about the collectors who will go around for a campaign and offer to pick up your ballot. You don't have to give it to them. It's your choice. Uh, whether you give it to them, you have somebody else that you trust to return it, or you put it in the oh, mail. No. Till. There's nothing in the law that defines how many ballots a person can pick up. What it does define is that if you're working for a campaign and you're out picking up a ballot, then you cannot be paid by the campaign for doing that. Mm -hmm. And so that's the caveat is that you can do it as a volunteer, but you can't be a paid employee of the campaign mm -hmm. uh, on that. So the collection of that mm -hmm. uh, on it. So again, vote by mail ballots have to be here at the elections office by 7 p.m election mm -hmm. night in order for them to count. Mm -hmm. One of the things I caution, and we're now putting notices in, particularly the Orlando ones, is remember that our postal service has changed and there's not next day service. So you can't expect to put a ballot in the mail on Monday mm -hmm. and I'll have it on Tuesday. The post office says first class mail is a three to five day delivery. Mm -hmm. So we're encouraging people to put their ballots in the mail at least five days before the election if you're going to mail it. If not, you can bring it to the elections office and drop it off or have somebody uh, bring it back for you.